In the same vein as Game of Thrones, the young cast members of Stranger Things have undergone a striking transformation over the years, both physically and as people. Season 3 highlights the profound changes affecting the kids of Hawkins as they prepare for high school while also trying to figure out how to grow up without growing apart. Series creators the Duffer Brothers succeed in this narrative quest by delivering a darker, scarier, and more action-packed season that surpasses its predecessors. <laughs> There's a lot to like about Season 3, but it all starts with the younger characters who, after seemingly closing the portal to the Upside Down last year, are endeavoring to just be kids during the summer of 1985. Mike and Eleven's constant makeout sessions are getting in the way of Will's yearning to play Dungeons and Dragons with the boys, while Dustin's return home from a month-long summer camp doesn't quite produce the happy reunion he was expecting. And while it's heartbreaking to see hormones getting in the way of established friendships, the group's division leads to a few exciting team-ups. Dustin and Steve are the ultimate comedic pairing in Season 3, with their evolving bromance leading to some emotionally stirring scenes. Both are struggling to come to grips with their respective new circumstances. Steve not getting into college and being forced to work at the local ice cream shop, and Dustin's friends not taking an interest in any of his new inventions. Throughout the season, Steve and Dustin's mentor-mentee dynamic is both charming and hilarious. On the adult side of things, Police Chief Hopper and Joyce Byers are going through their own significant character metamorphosis. Joyce is still struggling to get over the death of her beloved Bob Newby back in Season 2, and Ryder's heartfelt performance is elevated by the Duffer's creative choices behind the camera, using flashbacks and violent imagery to accentuate Joyce's fractured state of mind. For Hopper, he's going through a school of parenting hard knocks with his adopted daughter. Daughter Eleven. Harbor is incredible in his portrayal of an overprotective dad who's having difficulty accepting that his child is growing up. Stranger Things Season 3 also boasts a badass human villain named Grigori, who eerily resembles Arnold Schwarzenegger from the first Terminator film. Grigori doesn't say much, but his threatening looks and 80s haircuts speak louder than words. Genre favorite Carrie Elwes, who plays Hawkins' smarmy mayor Larry Klein, is unfortunately one of the more forgettable additions to Season 3. Without getting into specifics, we can tell you that the Upside Down, the Mind Flayer, and its minions are alive and well, producing some terrifying new creatures and thrilling action sequences later in the season. The new monsters are unlike anything we've ever seen before, and you can tell that Netflix spared no expense in bringing them to life. Stranger Things continues to grow in terms of its cast and the scope of its story, so it's understandable that not every character will get the attention they deserve, but it's still noticeable. Jonathan Byers and Nancy Wheeler fall into this particular category, with their storylines feeling inconsequential compared to the rest of the Hawkins gang. Even though Nancy and Jonathan are involved in the main plot, if you took them out of the equation, the season wouldn't suffer. Hopefully, the two aspiring reporters will have more to do in Season 4. Time will tell. Netflix's Stranger Things Season 3 is the series' best outing so far, with bigger stakes and stronger character development than its previous two iterations. As the kids mature, so do their respective stories and the young actors continue to deliver the goods. The production value has also been given a boost, making this Season 3 feel more like something you might see in a movie theater. For more on the streaming world, be sure to check out what's coming to Netflix in July and our recap of Stranger Things Season 1 in 5 minutes. And for everything else, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN everywhere you like to watch.